We're gonna take the Woody for a little drive down the street here. This is quite a beautiful machine, 1940 Deluxe. Showing 35,000 on the aftermarket speedometer. So the car has some experience. It does have, it's got cold air and I've got the air on. Motor runs cool, good oil pressure. It's charging, it's got about 12 and a half volts. It's got a tilt steering column. Looks like a four speed automatic transmission. I see one, two, three and drive. What a cool car. Power steering. It is a classic. I love all the wood on the headliner. It's got some pep. It's not a hot rod, but it'll run. I love the dash, it's all metal. Painted in metal. Don't see plastic on these cars. And inside the glove box is actually the stereo. It's kind of been hidden away. We're gonna pull up here and I'll walk around it a little bit. It's a beautiful evening here in North Texas. It's about 80 degrees. The grass is green. The birds are singing. We'll get out here in this uh, little roundabout and I'll kind of walk around the outside of the car. The paint on this is beautiful. It's an older restoration, but it was very well done and it's been stored in a climate controlled building. You can just see how nice this dash is. These are little ashtrays back in the day when everybody was smoking. And I've got the air going. You got a tilt wheel. It's probably the I did it column. You can see the Boston acoustic tweeter and speakers. Let's get a look at this beauty. I picture this in California on Malibu Beach with a couple of surfboards on it. It's got the Ford steel wheels with the dog dish hubcaps and the beauty rings. It's kind of a dark emerald green metallic. Got the Ford Deluxe logo right there on the hood. The windshield wipers probably have been converted to electric. Back then there were vacuum. And the 40 just has its own style, its own classic headlight, grill. It's just a, it's a timeless beauty, it really is. It's got the Ford stamped into the bumper on the front. It's got the classic wide white wall tires. It's got a modern 8.8 .8 rear end, which is 31 spline. It's just kind of a little more heavy duty than what these came with. But you can see how nice the paint is. The woodwork is all carved. It's got the classic blue dot tail lights. We'll open up that tailgate in a minute. Let's just get a look at this beauty. Inside the seats are leather. They're very comfortable. The carpet mats are trimmed, so they were done professionally in a custom shop. You can see the latches for the rear and the old school chain to open the tailgate. And this headliner is just absolutely beautiful. And I don't know if you can hear the blower, but the, you can hear that air conditioner. I can feel it back here. I like the leather straps supporting the door. And it looks like the sun visors are here. We'll have to put those on. I'll see if I can open the hood 
with one hand. Might be a deal where you gotta, there it goes, look at that. That hood is heavy. That's a real hood. It's got a tune port fuel injected engine. A lot of those were done back in the day by Street and Performance in Mena, Arkansas. And you can see the air conditioner compressor and alternator. They mounted them up high because these older cars, everything is very narrow. You don't have a lot to work with. This does have a Mustang 2 type front end with disc brakes and A-arms. So it makes it drive really nice. Nice clean firewall. It's just an absolute beauty. And it's a lot of fun to drive. We're gonna get more information on it and that'll be on our website. If you have any questions, give us a call. But somebody's gonna own a real timeless beauty. 1944 Deluxe Woody. But have a great day. I'm Bronco Bob wishing you happy trails. And before I go, I'm gonna see if we can find any flaws in the paint. Because I think it has a couple. But it's in really amazing shape. Yeah, there's one little little crack right there just below the filler neck on the fuel it's a place where the paint's been touched up a little dab right there that fender looks good this fender looks good and i want to mention that the hood is steel the cowl is steel the front fenders are fiberglass the grill is steel, so glass front fenders, that's all metal, and the rear fenders are steel. And of course the wood is wood. But if you're looking for a cool cruiser that's well sorted, and it's been a prize in a collector's climate controlled building, you might want to grab this one before it's gone. Have a great day. I'm Bronco Bob wishing you happy trails.